Hey guys, it's Tim with H5 Technology. Thanks for being here. We appreciate each and every one of you. I uh, wanted to give, give you guys a quick rundown of uh, some of the newer updates we've got going for the Raspberry Pi pre-shared key uh, rolling password for the unified controller uh, guest networks or a conference room or wherever you guys are going to use these things. Basically, I wanted to give you guys a uh, look at some of the new features we've got that aren't all on the live demo that we've got on the web page now. So I guess we'll just jump right in here. So the first thing you'll see here is uh, whenever you try to get to the admin page, it does ask for a username and password now. So we are locking this uh, admin page down by default. Uh, it is on its own port, but you know that doesn't, that's not always enough for you guys. So let's uh, lock it down as much as we can. Uh, default is admin admin, but you can change this password. So you click on the change password here. And as for the current password, new and new, I'm going to cancel out of that so we're not doing anything here. Um, coming down, you can see that the unified configuration is hidden by default, but we can click this update connection settings and update some of these this information here. Um, so you can see puts in the username for you, pre-populates that, but it, for security, we are not pre-filling the password field. So you will need this uh, the controller password to make any changes to the unified configuration being which guest network or SSID you're wanting to roll and use with this system. Uh, you can see that the any network that is marked as a guest network on the controller does put the word guest behind it by default. That is not the name of the SSID. It does add that for you. Um, I'm going to leave this up here uh, and show you something here real quick. So I'm going to make a quick change or scroll, actually I'll just do submit settings settings here. So if you submit the, submit the settings on any of these without that password in there, it'll tell you, hey, password's not entered, settings not saved. So, so long as you have this view up, if you're hitting submit settings here, or all the way down at the bottom here, it does not update any of those settings uh, unless you have that password in. Cancel out of that. Um, you can save settings for anything that's not the unified configuration. I uh, just glanced over this, but I didn't want to skip it here. Uh, we also are showing the SSID and the current PSK for that network. Uh, we can turn this off if you don't want it, um, but uh, we are showing which network is being controlled and what the current passcode is uh, for that network on this configuration page too. Um, we're allowing you to choose which days you want to roll this passcode. So uh, by default, you know, it was always just every day, midnight, it would roll this passcode, but you may not want to change it on Saturday, Sunday, or if you've got a two or three day event, coming up and you don't want the password to change every day, you want them to come in on Monday and have that same password working through Wednesday, you can come in here and quickly change it so it does. It will not reset on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, kind of a nice feature there. Um, we've seen all the background color and text color, all these changes. Um, leaving this off for the demo here, but uh, you can put a, a line name uh, or an event name or second line of text that will be underneath the header. Uh, allowing you to show or hide the SSID and password left or center a line, show the clock, show the date, and show the QR. Um, the QR was kind of glanced over in the previous video, but uh, it's a pretty slick little setup here. So for mobile devices that support it, which is iOS 11, I think, well, even 10, I believe, supports it. And some of the Android devices will allow you to open up um, just the camera, scan those QR codes, and it'll ask you, do you want to join this uh, network? Uh, for Android devices that don't support it natively, you can open up or get a QR scan app from the Play Store, and it will work pretty slick with that, too. I'll jump back over here. So making these changes, we'll hit submit settings.
and you can see this setting successfully saved. We'll refresh over here. And you can see those changes that I made. So I've changed the color, the background color, the foreground color, and all of that. Um, the other button that we've got down here is this roll PSK. So you can roll this thing on demand from the admin portal. And after that's done, you can see over here it's YCX7 right now. Refresh that. And now you can see it's VFM EFASU. Uh, so, uh, console web page has been refreshed. So it, sh it will automatically refresh the console page. So the screen that you have plugged into this Pi whenever you roll that PSK so you don't have to go over and refresh or wait for it to refresh which it does do on its own every I think five minutes by default again configurable we can change that to whatever you want it to be um, so that's the the changes on the admin side now what I really wanted to show you guys here is um, some of the physical changes we've made to this device so if you I'm gonna bring my camera over here and point it down over here so here's the box that I've got set up for my uh, demo unit um, you can see it's got an on off switch or button a roll PSK button um, and that is all wired up to the Pi now that you know again this is my my demo unit um, don't have everything else in here don't have all the pretty holes drilled that it will have for the live units whenever we get these things pushed out um, but you can see here's the screen that I got plugged into it. It's got the same information, um, except, uh, yeah. So we'll look down here. Uh, so the on off button, you press that. And you can see that the uh, screen did blank. So I'm going to turn it back on here. And that is running a clean shutdown command I had to wait for it to go all the way down even though the screen was off the Pi didn't completely shut down but that is running the shutdown command on the Pi so it is a clean shutdown you're not putting it down in a dirty state um, much safer way to power down your Pi obviously you don't want to uh, just pull the plug on those things and corrupt your SD card um, you want these things to, to last so that's the, the safest way to do that so Looking over here, we'll show you what it looks like whenever it boots up. I do have an option on these things to show the IP address uh, on boot. So you can see it shows or it boots up and it shows you what the wired IP and the wireless IP, depending on how we have these things configured. Um, this is a button or a checkbox that is configurable in the admin screen. Um, so there's that. Uh, so after you get it booted up the first time, you get all your configuration changes. You may not want to show that every single time it boots up, so you can turn that off. So the other thing that we've got here is that roll PSK button. So I'm going to push that button. You can see it lights up. It'll start blinking here in a second. And you saw it change on the screen there as well. So you saw the password change. I'm going to push the button again. Give it a couple, three seconds here. We'll see that password change and the screen refresh automatically. So it uh, works pretty well. It's a pretty slick little setup. That's, uh, that's what we got for you guys today. Uh, once again, thank you for being here. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, share the video. Um, and thanks, uh, thanks again. We'll see you next time.